is calling, I ask for the vision I serve to collect the souls, open the doors, grant me power for victory, I ask for him. The fire is calling, I ask for the vision I serve. With vision they shall be cleansed. The seven harbingers will guide you. And the door shall open. Sentence them to damnation. For victory in our war. With the flame of the harbinger, you shall become pure. Do you accept its bounty? I do. Four makes five for eyes of the Gua. Do you hear it? Train 72, Century 5. Hallowed eyes burn through the line to the fifth in colonies of old. Malevolence awaits a perfect vision as four makes five for apocalypse. A killer has struck twice already, which has brought me to New England, the colonies of old. The police are doing their best to keep details of the murders confidential, but reports have leaked out. Word is that the victim's eyes were burned from their skulls. Could malevolence be a reference to the Antichrist Mabus? Is the killer Gua? What do these murders have to do with an apocalypse? The cops have come up short on leads. Figured I should check out where the second victim was killed and start my own investigation. I hope you got a damn good reason for being in here. With forensics. 
Name's Fosen. Fosen. Never heard of you. Field evidence tech, Lafayette County. Brought me in to do some new orientation angle photos. Get some new shots of these footprint burns. I thought Cooper was doing those. Well, you think Cooper's a moron? That's a nice way of putting it. Yeah. <sighs> you freaked the hell out of me. Hey, sorry about that. They should have told you I was coming down. They probably forgot about me. They want me in here watching the crime scene. This place gives me the creeps. You ever seen anything like this in your life? I can't say that I have. You hear anything about the investigation? Well, they don't have SWAT, but they don't tell me much. What about the first victim? It's out of our jurisdiction. The feds are heading up the whole thing now. Do me a favor, will you? Hold this. That's great, thanks. What the hell is that? Do you think the killer did this? That's right. I did it. So you want to confess to the killing in Boston and to the one in Potsmouth? What can I say? I'm just kill crazy. Was there a reason for this? You dudes really want to know? Aliens. Got every nutcase in New England showing up for this one. Yeah, we'll handle it, okay? We have more pressing concerns. <laughs> well, I thought the aliens was kind of original. Yeah, I don't want original. I want real leads. Right, well, I'll get rid of them. Do that. Check with the local uniforms, see if they have anything new for us, okay? Right. What took you so long? You gonna book me or what? Maybe for obstructing justice, but I think you got a few screws loose, pal. So you don't believe in aliens? How typical. How about if I explain to the tax-paying public that you're willing to let the aliens run all over the place? How about that, huh? Huh? Let me show you a drawing of a suspect seen near the first murder. Now, does that guy look like an alien to you? You sure about that? I'm telling you, it was him, Foster. I'd know that pensive look anywhere. The feds on this case have Joshua pegged as a prime suspect. Maybe he went batty after you pulled him out of the alien prison. Joshua's not the killer. I know him better than that. Makes you think you do. If Joshua's hanging around, these killings have something to do with the invasion, Eddie. Now, there's two victims. One in Massachusetts, one in Rhode Island. Same M.O., same killer. Is it just the eyes he goes for? I don't know. They didn't include the coroner's report. Who are the victims? Uh, first one was a guy named Blake Newman, 38, professional gambler. Second victim, Chandler Evans, 73, retired. That would be the one that I checked out. Yeah, but, uh, the cops haven't found a connection yet. Well, it doesn't mean there isn't one. Whatever this symbol means, that's our best lead on the killer. All right. Get to work on it, see if I can find it match or something. Where are you going? Well, if we're going to play profiler, I'm going to need the corners of the Pass me the camera, will you? Foster, I don't know. Uh, ritual murder doesn't seem like the Gawain style, but if it is... Don't worry, Eddie. I'll watch my back.
Yeah, I just... I thought I'd turn the phone off. What do you want, Eddie? Just turned over the police scanner. They found another one. All right, gentlemen, when, uh, once again, we need to go. Uh, same apparent cause of death as the other two. Not a pretty way to go. White male, about 50 years old. <sighs> Damn, you can still smell it. Think hamburger, summer barbecue. Right. I think I'll just try not to vomit. How many footprint burns did you count over there? You got seven here, three on the other side of the fence. Looks like the killer walked right through that damn thing. Saunders, get over here. What do you got? It's like the one the rookie cop found. What the hell's it mean? Long time, Joshua. What are you doing here? About to ask you the same thing. Scoop on those murders, Joshua. What's happening here doesn't concern you. Why don't you tell me what's happening? I'll decide that. I strongly urge you not to pursue this any further. Why not? You don't want to find out. Why do the police have you pegged as a suspect? I don't know. You kill those people? What do you think? I'm not sure. You don't seem to be the same smiling guy I remember. Figure it out yourself, Foster. Last time we met, I saved your ass. I don't mind telling you, your sense of gratitude sucks. I owe you nothing. Come on, Joshua! Is the killer Gua? He's Gua. But not like anything you've ever seen. Don't make a mistake to think a gun will help you. Chander didn't get out much. He was something of a shut-in. I like to sit here now. It, it makes me feel like he's isn't really gone. Chandler made all these drawings? Same one for the last five years. Where is this place? I have no idea. It's the only thing he ever drew. He never told you what it meant? No. I couldn't understand what went through that man's head sometimes. Forty years married, and still you can never know everything. Is this him? Yes. Uh, from last year. I'm real sorry for your loss, Miss Evans. That night, he said he had a headache. He went for a walk to get some air. He kissed me goodnight. He was scared. I didn't know why, but there was fear in his eyes. And he never came back. Mr. Foz and I, I've already told the authorities. He didn't know anything about the other victim. You're positive? Absolutely. The other man, he was from upstate Massachusetts. Chandler had never been out of Rhode Island in 15 years. This was just a random, tragic thing. Well, thank you for your time. I should be going. I'll show you out.
Foster, how many times can I tell you? I did a background check going back four generations and came up empty. There's no connection. They found this symbol next to the first victim. Yeah, after your discovery, they went back to the Newman crime scene, found it underneath the floorboards. Someone leaked it to the press. I mean, I've tried to match those symbols to everything from Sumerian cuneiform to Native American hieroglyphs. Nothing. Joshua said the killer is Gua. That means these symbols had to be Gua. Yeah, well, that doesn't really help us unless you can suddenly read Gua. The third victim, Dr. Gerald Ratliff, 58. Worked in experimental medicine. There's no link to the other two. The killer setting up the scene, nabbing the victims and taking them there. None of this is random. Got a magnifying glass? Yeah, sure. Look at this. What is that? Looks like a birthmark. Chandler Evans had the exact same one. Second victim? It's highly improbable. Unless they're related. I checked four generations. The quatrain says hallowed eyes burned through the line. Could be a reference to a family line. Maybe you didn't check far enough back. How's it coming? Patience. Give it some time. Time? We don't have any time, Eddie. There's a psychopathic alien killer on the loose. Look, the U.S. and Europe have pretty extensive genealogy databases. I'm trying to link names that are phonetically similar or abbreviated. How long is this going to take? We're close. I ask for the guidance of the seven officers. I ask for the damnation of all enemies. Do you accept the bounty of the flame? Do you hear the fire calling you? Do you? No. Hear it? <laughs> Please. No. Oh, whoa, you gotta be kidding. They're all descendants of Nostradamus. Well, I think we just found out why the Guar are killing these guys. Can you trace this forward, find any other descendants? The Quatrain mentions five and all. I'll try. Eddie, if these people inherited any kind of ability... Guar might be facing a modern-day Nostradamus, someone who foresees the future. Think any of the victims are psychic? Ah! <laughs>
I warned you. How'd you get here? Put your gun away. I'll explain. I don't think so. I followed you here, Foster. You know I'm not the killer. But you know who is. Fire's focused and intense. Death is swift. I'm sure this guy really appreciated that. I shot the killer. It had no effect. I warned you. He's powerful. He wore an amulet around his neck, seemed to control the flames. It's a field accelerator. It converts matter to energy, such as fire. The symbols burning the eyes, fire. This isn't like the Gua. Gua believe we're born of flames. Fire is a pure state of being. That is Gua. It represents one of the moons that orbit my home world. Each sacrifice is said to bring power to the killer. And why are you telling me this? I realize you've been able to track the killer because you know who he's choosing. I want the name of the final descendant. What else do these symbols mean? Why'd the killer try and hide them with the first three murders? You want the name? You tell me everything. We've had this kind of killing before. A long time ago, when we were much like you. Superstitious, ruled by irrational fear. It was a dark chapter for the Gua. A small group took control, created a reign of terror. Sacrifices, tortures, power concentrated in a single sick rule. Now it's happening again. Mavis. Tell me who's being killed. They're all descendants of Nostradamus. Now you tell me why they're being killed. Consume the consciousness of the family line, and you gain the powers of that prophet. Wars have been won by stealing the vision. Gain Nostradamus' power. When the final descendant is dead, Mabus will end the killer's life with the same ritual, to take the visions of Nostradamus himself. He'll destroy the prophecies. Tell me who the final victim is. I may be the only one who can defeat the killer. Eddie, how's it coming with the other descendants? Anna Griffin, 32, stockbroker, 4387 Bay Drive, Newport, Rhode Island. The other one is Thomas Harris, 25. He's a psychology student. I think we're a little late for him. Oh, no. I'll call you after we visit Miss Griffin. We go together. Miss Griffin, wondered if we could have a word with you. Well, whatever this is about, you can call me at the office like everybody else. It's very important that we speak. Please. Let me call you back. What you're saying is ridiculous. I read about the murders in the paper. Of course I have, but now you're here telling me that I'm next. How am I supposed to react to that? Let us help you. Help me. He'll find you. I promise. 
Do you have any identification? We're conducting our own investigation at this time. I'm calling the police. Don't do that. What is this? You're in grave danger. I I'm calling the police. Police don't know what they're up against. They can't protect you. Look, I don't know who you are or what you want. Just stay the hell away from me. You know, you really have a way with people. There they are. She identifies. Probably put her in protective custody. Most likely. At least she'll be safe. You and I won't be able to get near her. But the police don't know what the killer looks like. It'd be too hard for him. The Guad have spies everywhere. He'll have help. Hey! Where are you going? You and I are done. What, now you know who the final victim's gonna be? It was a fair exchange of information. Fair? Fair for who? Hey, I'm not finished here. Where'd you get this? This was passed down to me in Legacy. It's used for killing. I'll use it to save. But not your descendants of Nostradamus. I fight to save Gua. He wanted Anne to call the cops back there. So I couldn't get to her. But he could. He wanted him to complete the ritual. So that I can take the vision. Not Mabus. He's gonna kill her! Go ahead, take your time. Think about it. I'm just not sure. You said you got a good look at them, right? I did. And you're sure this is one of the guys, though? Do you think he's the killer? Well, he was sighted near a crime, and then he approached you. He's looking pretty guilty to me. What I need to know is who his friend is. Any luck? Oh, God. This is him. You're positive? Absolutely. He was with this other guy. Miss Griffin, your testimony is vital to our case. But the suspects are still at large. For your safety, I'd like to place you in protective custody. Protective custody? Why don't you help yourself to some coffee? Agent Saunders and I will make some phone calls to arrange things, okay? Fine. Hey, with all due respect, you're not that good. So spill. Voss has been officially dead for two months now. Then some cop in Chicago claims it was a scam, that he's alive. Then I get an anonymous tip that Foster's been seen in the area. Gave it a shot. I'll be damned. That son of a bitch is going down. And I am that good. Miss Griffin, I'm Officer Jones. I'll be escorting you into protective custody. Should hurry. Is this really necessary? You can't be too careful. Well, why did they only send you then? Less obtrusive this way. You are going undercover, ma'am. That's reassuring. Where are we going? A hotel room downtown. Relax. We're going to take care of you. Sorry that I sit back here. Policy, Miss Griffin. The drive isn't long. 
Wait, my my briefcase. Wait, stop. What's wrong, Eddie? I just turned on the scanner. Anna Griffith disappeared from police custody ten minutes ago. Eddie has her. She's dead if we don't do something, Eddie. Look, I don't know if this helps, but I worked in the last symbol you found. I think I got something. Joshua said the symbols hold some kind of mythic significance for the war. Also translates into a universal language. Mathematics. What do you mean? When I tried every equation, this side of advanced calculus came up empty. Finally, I uh, just assigned a numeric value to each symbol uh, based on the lines and... Uh, intersections of a plotted graph. What'd you come up with? High school trigonometry, man. Sines and cosines. Then I plugged it into base 16 of pi. And, and I, I came up with a pattern. Ran the equation backwards. If the pattern still holds, that's our fish symbol. How it helps, I don't know. Fair enough for me. Five symbols. Five victims were missing something here, Eddie. And what about the clock train? Uh, four makes five for apocalypse. He's taking his victims to pre-selected places to kill them. For privacy? More than that. It has to have something to do with that. The ritual. He drove Evans and Ratliff miles away from where he grabbed them. Four makes five. Gainesville. It's not really a town. It's just a big factory out there. About 40 miles away. Then that's where Anne is. If she's still alive.
The bastard did it. Did what? I shot him, but he's too strong. Where's Anna? She's dead. Then he's completed the ritual. I'll finish what I came here to do. Kill them before we could complete the ritual. And the descendants are dead. Guess we both lose today. No, Joshua. Just you. Would you have helped me if you knew she was still alive? If the ritual wasn't over? No. What are you talking about? He was gonna let you die, Anna. You used me. No. Just decided to fight your way. Covered. Anyone logs on the internet tries finding the last living descendant of Michelle de Nostradam, guarantee you they'll come up empty. Consider it the Paranoid Times Witness Protection Program. Thank you. Anna, about your ancestry, Nostradamus. You didn't inherit any of his gift. Prophetic vision? The best I can do is pick good stock every now and then. Sorry. Yeah. Well, I had to ask. Uh, you know, uh, Anna, you and I should have a little talk. Online trading has really changed my life. I need a couple of tips. I used to consider Joshua an ally, but I can't do that anymore. There are many different paths towards a common goal. He and I both fight for the end of this invasion. But he's made one distinction perfectly clear. He's Gua. And I'm human. As our fight continues into the future, I hope we can overcome our differences. I hope they don't decide who between us lives. Or who dies. I thought you should be informed. There have been a series of murders similar to the killings of the ancient Gua. You proceeded. Damage control was necessary. I've attempted to frame Subject 117, but still, they are troubling. I agree, but only in their lack of success. You knew about these killings? I did. But these practices are outlawed. I make the laws now. I meant no disrespect. Of course not. Unfortunately, most Gua would agree with you, which is why I can't afford to have this failure known. What are you doing? Consider it damage control. No! No, please! 